Hello people that exist. This is the second part of um, book recommendations. And I am currently at my dad's house. A book blab, the innocent of the East Street Shuffle. There, that's better. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. Let us start with middle grade. Oh yeah. I'm doing the same thing as I have done in the past where that I did last video where I go from most popular to least popular middle grade, YA, um, and adult okay, let us begin <laughs> so I already talked about Percy Jackson so that's not going to be what I do it is very good though I'm going to talk about Ranger's Apprentice, that series by um, John Flanagan. Haven't read it in a while, but it's basically a series of duologies, mostly, where you have like a plot line, and then you have another plot line with this character. So, like, the first two books are one plot line, then the next two are one, and then there's something else that happens after like somewhere in between them but then the next two are one and then the thing that happens somewhere in between those is like the seventh book which is a single thing and then the eighth and ninth are a duology and then the tenth one is i don't know it's weird but it's pretty good it's been a while since i read it so i don't know this is kind of like yeah it's fine okay so now i guess moving on to um the less known, I guess, or the slightly less known one. So for this next category, I actually have two books. So the first one is the Horizon series by multiple authors. I, I think it's, I'm not completely sure if this would fall under middle grade and young adult. Same with the other one, but I found it at my school book fair. Book fair. Same with the other one, I think. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So... And that was in fifth grade, I think. Fourth or fifth grade. Yeah. One of those younger grades for both of these, so I think they should be considered middle grade. But And they both also fall under the category of they're quick, they're not that much to think about, but they're entertaining. Like, I recommended this to my dad because it's quick and easy and... He pretty much described it as an action movie, because it goes by like that. It's entertaining, but there isn't too much substance to it. And I think that is the best way to describe both of these. Like, they're good. They're not amazing. But this one has a cool cover. <laughs> I already talked about the Jinx trilogy, so that's not the topic of this one, even though... It is probably one of my most highly, it, it is one of my most highly recommended series. But I'm talking about this right now. The Griffin Chronicles by E.G. Foley. Not really sure what there is to say. It's a lot of words. There are a lot of books. You have, like, this book, and then you have the, and they're tall. Like, these are weird in terms of proportion because they're self-published, but they're, they're good. And I think some of you would enjoy them. Urban fantasy. Not the greatest, but they're kind of... They're a nice thing to read. Not really sure what to say about them much. Okay, moving on to young adult. So I guess I'll start with this. Shadow and Bone Trilogy by Lee Bardugo. It's probably one of the most popular series I have on my shelves. It's pretty good. That's all. Um, and then Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken is a really good series. Though the first book is the best and then it kind of slowly gets worse. But um, it is good the whole way through. And I recommend it a lot. These both fall under the um, 
a lot of people will know, know about them. A lot of people would recognize these titles. And, yeah, these are some good series, especially this one. So I don't really have any unpopular um, series here, but, actually, no, you go away. Um, but, um, these are two YA series that are, I think, less well-known than... I know Shadow and Bone, and probably The Darkest Minds. Furyborn, which... Or the Imperium Trilogy, which should probably be considered new adult, but for some reason a lot of books that should be marketed as new adult or adult are marketed as YA. But then this is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. It's very good, both of them. And, I don't know. They're good series. Now, moving on to adult. So, next is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Is a popular adult series, which is rather good. The Brandon Sanderson, it's a high fantasy. It's long. Not as long as this, which... The Way of Kings, or the Stormlight Archive, which, if I ever... If I ever have the will to do this, if I... If I ever have the energy to read 1,250 pages of any book, including Brandon Sanderson, if, I'll read it, but Mistborn Trilogy, rather good. I spent more time talking about a different series than I did the Mistborn trilogy. I, uh, Next in our middle-of-the-way knowledge category, or awareness category, is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. The first book's the best, but it's a great series, and... The writing... <laughs> Most of it is told in second person, and it is absolutely beautiful. And it's very interesting. And very, very good. But now, moving on to the last book. And the book that inspired me to do these videos in the first place. Actually, no because it's only a transition between books, not between sections, and I forgot. But, The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. Andrea, Andrea. Um, I don't like Sarah J. Mass, but, but in, the, in this case, I agree with her. Um... This is such such a great magic system, and the second book is coming out soon, and I'm extremely excited for it, so it's not coming out by the time I finish this book, so I guess I'll have to read something else after Daughter of the Deep, which is what I'm currently reading, and nearly close to done reading, but enough time talking about Daughter of the Deep, um, this is just a very good series, great magic system, great characters, and great random ocean beasts. I don't know. I really recommend this. Now I'm going to say, um, goodbye, keep on existing. Keep on existing. <laughs>